It's like a Rex Orange County house party right now. Love it. In the house. Yeah. Uh, Alex, I, I gotta say, this is quite the contrast from the last time I saw you play. It was at uh, Outside Lands. Was anyone there? Ruby Park. Your band didn't make it, but you did. Yes. It's actually a lot like that. <laughs> just a smaller venue. Yeah, just this, just a small space. But that was still fun either way. Yeah, people loved it, man. I, I saw Rex Mania firsthand. I was like, this is absolutely unbelievable. If you saw the show, it was, it was kind of special. His band didn't show up. It was a little awkward, a little... You know, but but you owned it, man. You went out there and just and just killed it. It was very awkward, definitely. <laughs> Thank you, though. I appreciate that. Do you thrive on that kind of stuff, like when things get kind of crunchy or kind of you know off balance? Uh, you seem like the kind of guy that enjoys that. I mean, I was down for it on that day. I mean, it was it was a very weird day, but I, you know, most of the time things go to plan, and when it when it didn't, it, it's like I don't know. You just like picture what something's gonna be for a long time, like in advance. Like I knew I was gonna play that festival for a long time, so. I never for one second thought I'd have to do it by myself. So I, I, it's kind of like good to, uh, it's just sort of like, fuck, you know, you got to press on. Why not? Let's go. Yeah. Uh, you, you talked about kind of envisioning that festival. Do you, are you that kind of guy like where you like have a vision board and you kind of lay out things and kind of like meditate on things and kind of try to visualize your future? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I'm, I guess that's, it's like I would probably apply that to like specific things across what I do. Like, I don't know, just like planning the, the the album before it's even written and stuff and or just like you know just planning certain things and like being like details and stuff I do care about a lot of those things yeah definitely. yeah uh, I know that this is the the final show for 2018 it it's, is it's been a big year you see you said that like you were really excited you're like yeah <laughs> <laughs> no it's good it's good I'm actually more excited to be able to play a new set to people honestly yeah what, what, what's some of the i mean it's been such a big year for you like i said what, what's kind of like the like the highlight if you would like what's like the one thing that kind of stands out if you had to look back and go 2018 there it was um I it could see, be like getting a pet cat or a pet fish too it doesn't have to be music related right um it probably is music related to be honest um because i don't have a pet cat or a pet fish but also the the uh, um, the tour uh, surrounding Outside Lands was like, for like there was like eighteen shows or something, and it just was it was a very insightful, very very enjoyable experience for me. It was very humbling. I saw like thousands and thousands of kids all over America who were listening to me, and I went for the first time to all these places. It was just like insane for me to actually do that, and it felt very flattering and amazing it was just amazing you know what it is i just i went by myself and was just like this is ins not i wasn't literally by myself but i felt <laughs> very much like i made this by myself and there's no one like you know you're connected to people yeah i, I think yeah. you give something very unique and something that's not really there's not a lot of uh, this day i mean you did a whole record of love songs right and sure. they, they say that i mean they say love songs are like the hardest songs to write and here you are like one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> but need a love song? Okay, I'll write another. I'll just release this one as a single. It's about love. I mean, that's that's crazy, man. Mm. How, how are you so prolific? Like, I mean, that's just. I don't know how to answer. How are you so prolific? I'm yeah. sorry. Um, uh, just a hard worker. I mean, are you always writing songs, or are you just? I don't know. I'm not even always writing songs. I just think I feel as if maybe I just find it easier to talk about the love songs. Yeah, you also write a, a lot of songs about crying. Mm. Um, are you like a sad dude? Like, I, I'm just trying to, I'm tr we're trying to get to know you here in this intimate you know, kind of setting. Like, are you a dude that like cries like two, three times a week? Do you cry over only serious things? Do you cry over like, you know, someone getting your order wrong? Or are you like that sensitive or not um, at all? I don't know, man. I think, uh, probably, I don't I could Like, when's the last time you cried? When's the last time I cried? Probably, uh, maybe like, Last week, probably. It's like it's like most. It's like it, you know. It's fairly regular. I think it should be. You should be allowed to cry whenever you feel like you want to cry, whether that's every single day or once a month, once a year, once a decade. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> however many times, do it as much as you like. It's it's incredibly uh, useful. I feel. Yeah, I always feel better after I cry. Yeah. I think everyone agrees with that, right? Even if you don't know what you're crying about, you know, you just have that weird moment where like. You're looking at yourself in the mirror, and you're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Happens to me uh, pretty often. It's like, mm. oh, God. I'm oh. sorry, man. But the, the holidays are coming up. Do you have big holiday plans? This is the last show tonight. Mm -hmm. You had a big smile on your face, just thinking, like, what's the, are you just going to go out to the country, live in the woods, go on a hike? What, like, what, what's, yes. what's the plans, man? All three. Yeah? Yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'm going to go home, and uh, I'm going to go to Amsterdam with my girlfriend, Thea, 
and my friend Harry, and we're gonna hang out over there, and then I'm gonna go home for Christmas probably, and then. Uh, is Amsterdam because like the bulldog and all the weed and hash there? Is that? Oh no, no, no I don't no. even know what that is. Yeah, I, yeah, uh, yeah. I just like the, <laughs> I like the the architecture. Uh, the architecture, yes. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, man. Uh, wh what does the future hold for you? G give us a little uh, vision and like take us into your vision board. Where's the future leading, man? Um, hopefully, I'm gonna just be coming back to places like San Francisco and and everywhere that that I haven't yet even been in America and, and in Asia and everywhere. I want to like. Before you know, I have ambitions, but for now I'm kind of just doing this, and I'm like, hopefully put out the album I really, really want to put out when it's ready, and then, you know, continue to tour and make this thing, you know, just like reach more. I want to, I just want to see as many people as I can. You want to hold the world, man. Yeah, while I can, yeah, for yeah, sure, man. That's beautiful. All right, let's hear some more music. All right. Alex, thanks for taking the time to chat with thanks us. For having me. Rex Orange County K Fox Studio Session. How awesome is this? Yeah. <laughs> Your name is No Name? Yeah. <laughs> That's fire. <laughs>